All right, so this is kind of cool. Yesterday, we showed you video from Prince Edward Island of a swan boat, and here it is. And it's just so cool. Oh my gosh. Today we learn more about the man who built it. Joining us from Kensington, Prince Edward Island is renovation company owner Clark Waite. Hey, good morning to you, Clark. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm pretty good. Okay, what is that thing? What is it? Yeah. It's a swan from Rainbow Valley. <laughs> okay, and what have you done to it? How did what how did you convert how did you convert it? Uh, basically cut it into about five pieces. Cut the top off a of sea and then started remanufacturing it all together. So, where kind of did like you a come crossword puzzle. Yeah, well, where did you come up with the idea for this, Clark? I mean, have you done this kind of thing before? No, nope, first time, but we thought we'd give it a try. Never even thought it was really going to work. <laughs> now, did, when's the first time you took it for a spin? Uh, would have been the spring of this year. There was actually still ice floating in the water. Right. And why did you do it? Thought it'd be a cool project. Now, isn't there, but you don't own the swan. So who owns the swan and what's the backstory there? It'd be uh, Ellen Clark and Steve Smith actually own the swan. Right. Um, we built their cottage last year. And after they had the cottage project done, they thought maybe they should have a boat. So we we're all sitting around just kind of joking one day. And they thought maybe, well, we should have a swan. So then that's when we uh, jumped on the Internet, found the swan and then started the project. So the Swan used to be at Rainbow Valley, which was a, a, a beloved uh, amusement park in Cavendish. Uh, did you actually pick this Swan up in its fiberglass form in Cavendish? No, we had a, it was sold to another gentleman, and then uh, he had it for a number of years and decided he wasn't going to do anything with it. So we went on Kijiji and actually bought it off of Kijiji. All right, so and we're watching video of your Swan now. Uh, again, how fast does this thing go? This will seat four people, but with two people in it, it'll do 37 mile an hour. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're just taking a pause for a little laughter here, Clark. We'll be right back with you. <laughs> and so you've obviously raised a few eyebrows with this thing. Oh, we sure have. <laughs> and do you have plans? You can't drive to by a boat. Yeah, oh, well, exactly. And now, do you have plans to do another one? We'll have to wait and see. We have something in the works, but we're not really to, ready to let it out yet. Oh, you're not ready to release it. Well, Clark, as you may or may not know, I live in PEI. I'll be home on the weekend. So uh, for me to get a ride in this thing, how tough will that be? Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> You'll okay. contact me on Sunday, and we'll take you for a ride in it for sure. Oh, perfect. Okay. I look forward to it. Can we, go, can we go up to the 37 miles an hour, which is almost, what, 50K? Yeah. It goes almost 60K, right? Yeah, we right, sure I'll, bring, I'll bring the 60K hairspray. Listen, Clark, <laughs> uh, nice work on this. It's really unique, and there's uh, a lot of interest generated. Thanks for getting up and talking to us this morning. Thank you.